Well, we're continuing our interviews here at the Analytics, Big Data, and the Cloud Conference. And Stephen Lau, you're joining us right now. You're with, uh, well, it says Edmonton Home Pro Real Estate with Remax. That's right. How is it that you use data as far as uh, gathering it for your clients and prospective clients? Well, data is extremely important because we want to know as much about a neighborhood uh, for the client because we need to know if this neighborhood is suitable for the client in terms of uh, their family demographics. Do they have young children coming? Do they need access to schools? Uh, is this a high crime area or whatnot? So we take uh, statistics that's collected by the government, by school boards or whatnot to uh, see if it's a suitable neighborhood. Uh, I want to know crime stats. All, all these things are relevant for uh, people's purchasing decisions because buying a house is one of the most expensive mm -hmm. things they do with their money, right? right, so. right. Well, when it comes to gathering these stats, it, one of the things that I heard from the keynote is that today and, and in the past, it might take weeks, months, perhaps years to gather everything. Right. The decision-making process is very slow. It sounds right. like you're getting a lot of information. Mm -hmm. How long does it take you to compile it? Uh, a lot of information is compiled, for example, by the Edmonton Real Estate Board. They know things like average uh, purchase price, sale price, uh, product mix between, say, townhouses, half duplexes, condos, uh, detached homes. That kind of forms uh, kind of a, a makeup of, an, of a community. So if I know someone wants to, let's say, stay in that community, let's say they start buying a condo, then they move up to a townhouse, and within three years, they're going to move into a house, but they want to stay in that general neighborhood. So I'll, I'll help them uh, based on the product mix on the demographic mix of the neighborhood and uh, we put things together. Yeah. So you've basically got your base then and from here you just add new information so if the crime stats change or if it looks yeah. like the school board might be closing down a school then you update it that way. Yeah we try to keep our ears open uh, we get uh, you know there's you know, RSS feeds online now like uh, community leagues post information and it's just trying to keep track of all the various information sources because a lot of people keep information in their little silos but we have to kind of connect them and to make a more educated decision for the clients because they rely on our guidance. So how have you how long have you been in the real estate? I've been real estate for about four years a okay, so former a lawyer time, right? I used to be okay. a lawyer and I hated that job yeah. as a realtor now but okay. uh, I do commercial and residential real estate okay so not for a very long time so it's not yeah. like you've se you haven't seen a huge shift in that time have you as far as gathering data uh, and using it? just like for example yesterday was an election everything uh, technologically is available and more and more information is being collected and it's the uh, the people who are most savvy at collecting information that's going to uh, you know help the clients the best mm -hmm. yeah and so when it comes to the information are you somebody that is able to disseminate it as well or do you have somebody come to you and say Stephen this is what we think uh, you know and you can tell your clients about right it. well I interview the clients to see what's driving them to move it in a certain location how close they need to be to work uh, how uh, good access they need to public transportation all these factors weigh into my analysis of making them uh, giving them a recommendation on where they should be mm -hmm. so yeah. It's interesting because much of what's being talked about here is how governments can benefit from big data and the cloud and, mm -hmm. and how major industry can as well. Real estate is obviously a major industry, but you're dealing with one person at a time, mm -hmm. and it's their home. I imagine it's not just you that wants this information. They want that information as well. Oh, absolutely. Uh, we get approached by, for example, real estate developers all the time to say, look, uh, we're interested in buying this piece of land. Number one, do you think it's a feasible project? And um, we need to get the information like, uh, what is the general profile of the person generally buying in this community? Do they, are they fit the age profile? Um, you know, what's their average income so all these factors are uh, gathered through you know again government sources private sources through interviewing the clients we put it all together and through like analyzing patterns we make an executive decision or a, a report to the client for example a developer okay now it's interesting when you mention a home and, and how it's a huge often the largest transaction anybody makes mm -hmm. but in today's market, it seems these people have to make these decisions quickly as well. Absolutely. And, uh, you know, back in 2007 when the market was just really hopping, you really didn't have time to really analyze too much. So they really relied on the expertise and it's a lot of its negotiations and whatnot. But having that information so the client trusts the, the quality of that information, that's what we provide, it's very important for them to make their decision. Yeah. So where do you see it going from here? Well, how? 
how can you see analytics or big cloud helping your situation out more? Mm -hmm. Well, clients these days, just like buying a car, buying a house, are extremely educated these days. So uh, having a one-stop shop for information, whether it's uh, um, community leagues, knowing and school boards, having the data about the clients, about uh, the children and whatnot, and it's fed up into the government system so you can pull that data down and it can be publicly accessible. I think having more information is good because it gives you a better picture how to make your decision. The information that you're getting, is it is it available to the public in general and you're just combining it all so that you can present a total picture? A lot of it is a little bit holistic, some experience or whatnot. It's like, mm -hmm. um, you know, my first step is to recommend if, if uh, having a family is important to you and you want your children to be safe, you might go to the Edmonton Police website to look at the crime stats, what type of issues there are. Um, you want to see if, uh, again, tra public transportation, if the kid is going on into junior high, do they have easy and quick access to the LRT mm -hmm. or to the bus services? So um, in terms of in the future, more and more information is going to be available to the client and ultimately we try to make help them make the best decision and solidify their decision making based when, on the information they collect. When it comes to a client coming to you yeah. and they're looking for a property, what do you think would help them the most to bring to the table? What would I... Uh, to, to think that the client, like should they be bringing anything to the table or do you prefer if it's a blank slate and you inform them on uh, I always like to help them verify their information and I can help them evalu evaluate the quality, the timeliness of that information. I might have some advanced knowledge because I'm connected from a, a community level, community leagues, political organizations to know, for example, power lines. That's always a very controversial topic. So yeah. to know that uh, various corridors are planned for certain types of um, you know, transportation corridors or utility corridors, those kind of information clients might like the house, but they don't realize that they're buying a house right next to a big power uh, power line or mm -hmm. power substation that's going to be built in the next five to ten years. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. so you see this then as far as the analytics go and, and just disseminating the data should make your job easier, mm -hmm. should make it easier for people buying home. People shouldn't be surprised in the future by no, what's absolutely. going on around them. Right. Information is power and if you can uh, analyze it and summarize it and keep in touch with current data, that's going to ultimately help both sides. Sounds like a perfect place to end. Thanks very yeah, much, Stephen. Thank you so much, Rob. We've been chatting with Stephen Lau about how analytics and big data can play a role in real estate.